As we walk the path of Anatoly's residence, there are many interesting objects that uh, you can see, including this really fabulous kitten here. And right now we're looking at this uh, enormous dream catcher that Anatoly made. Uh, you can see the size of it, it's pretty impressive and this is something he has been making for a number of years now. Um, he was just explaining everyone about the method. It's um, not as complex as it appears to be, at least according to what he was just saying. I don't know if I should take his word for it or not, but I've never tried. But this is something that could be a very interesting project for anyone who could um, visit, who is uh, interested to visit. He was just showing us the special machine that he has here that helps him to bend pipes. And I guess that's how you make the uh, circumferences for that. Right? Well, this one, that's the the first one I ever made in my life huh. <laughs> and it's on a... You decided to go big. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's on the base of an old trampoline. Uh, the ah, membrane I see. Uh, it was worn out. I couldn't get a replacement one and uh, I was just left with this big like 16 feet uh, ring uh, and I had no idea what to do with it and then uh, I just went. I bought like 200 feet of rope mm -hmm. in Home Depot and I did this in 20 minutes. Are uh, you serious? 20 minutes 20 it took minutes, you yeah. to make that? It's, it's very, uh, even dream catchers, it's not as uh, difficult as it may seem. Uh, I, I was looking at, at a smaller dream catcher and I got uh, figured out the pattern uh -huh. uh, and it's very easy. So you are self-taught, no one showed you how to do it, you just figured it out and you decided to go for it. Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. Mm. <laughs> a friend of mine, she, she made those two. Uh, yeah, so it's actually gonna, her work and her inspirations. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we'll get closer to them in a few minutes so you can all see them. Uh, they look very pretty. Yeah, she inspired me. Uh, but I couldn't get the pattern and everyone mm -hmm. refused. To, to try to make it on such a large scale yeah. uh, and I decide to, to argue. <laughs> okay, you decided to prove your point. <laughs> yes. Got it. What's, what's up with the spider there? Is um, that, what does it, or did you just decide to like add a little bit of artistic, oh I see there are two actually, there are two them, spiders yeah, yeah. there. Black and white. Uh-huh, very uh, symbolic. Yeah, and I have a friend who works uh, at a metal fabrication uh, place, so he gives me different things. So he gave me two spiders, mm -hmm. and I think they found their perfect home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, yeah, they look great there, <laughs> right at home. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it right now, but uh, it needs uh, Sh a little bit of shaking. It needs or white paint. I will do it, but mm -hmm. uh, at night I will I I will shine a powerful light on it and it, it's very visible. Beautiful. And we were just looking at another object which is pretty cool. It's, uh, it was made by a sacred uh, geometry master, Dima probably. Yeah, he Dima. makes kusudamas. Yeah, like and it's, friend. I don't know if you can see, it's right there hanging on the tree. And do you know if that one is also made out of metal or is it something else? Yes, it's made out of uh, metal. Uh, all the ingredients for sacred geometry are easily available from your local Home Depot. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. <laughs> yeah. So I much beautiful. To look at it from we'll go around uh, later on and we'll look at it again. But let's get closer to the to those other dream catchers that you have there. And there are plenty of mushrooms here too. Yay! I saw that one, mm -hmm. right there, some kind of a bullet. Yeah, there's another one right there, I oh think it's the same one. Mm -hmm. No mushroom. Oh, it's quite old, so it just fell apart. But it's a nice mushroom.
Torjik, you have you have some cool mushrooms here. There's another one. Good food for insects because it's a little bit too old for humans to eat now, so we're gonna leave it here. So there's a street sign here, it says South Broadway. Pretty funny. Where did that sign come from? Ah, uh, uh, ah, the sign. South, uh, yeah, someone South gave Broadway. it to me. It's from uh, <laughs> from Manhattan, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, from metal, I, I love doing something like this. Uh, it's uh, uh, basically whatever uh, pieces I find in the woods will mm -hmm. eventually make their way into some kind of, I don't know how to call it, uh, to call it sculpture, it's, I think it's art too much. <laughs> but I think such objects in the context of the forest, they create some... Uh, it's an enchanted forest now with all of this beautiful magical objects <laughs> and I think they are sculptures in a way they're land sculptures, land art it's quite beautiful and um, how does it work? how do you find spots for them? It takes time you have to work with the land um, I have it's a couple of acres uh, and um, basically uh, you have to walk around and see uh, the land itself itself offers you interesting uh, perspectives perspectives yeah. and then uh, it takes time it, that's why i i call this place my like endless art project <laughs> it, it, it is in a way yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. i i constantly find different like unexplored areas even on this two acres yeah. it's not a lot of land yeah. uh, but I can always find something new some unexplored uh, untouched corner and uh, do something there <coughs> it's quite interesting how everything integrates very organically and it almost feels like this things just here growing on on the trees on their own without any human touch I'm trying I'm yeah. trying I have to keep a balance between uh, the land looking like an art space and uh, without turning into junkyard. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an intricate balance to find that that edge between the human involvement and the nature's flow. And I think you're doing it quite beautifully here. What I'm, I have, I have some vision for the land. Uh, I think when I finish those metal sculptures it, it will be like 30 of them so they will pretty much be everywhere <laughs> yeah. and uh, also uh, eventually I will try to build uh, maybe wooden paths mm -hmm. through the property and uh, maybe build some tree houses and uh, uh, guest houses but it has to be also it has to fit into the Absolutely. Uh, into the forest. Yeah. You also. have to ask the woods permission yeah. for that. Yeah. <laughs> Can we see those other dream catchers? Yeah. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Wow. Oh, what you have? Oh, oh Rusula, wow. Sarayashka. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are two so more dream two catchers dream. here, right on the trees. Yeah, that's that's Quite actually remarkable. how how the dream catchers uh, started for me because my friend Dina, she made this too. Dina Ostrovsky. Uh, yeah. Okay. So she made this too, and that's what inspired me. I don't know. I I like her work because mm -hmm. it's, she used see she used this as feathers. Yeah, huh, <laughs> interesting. So she inspired me a lot. And uh, what's in the middle? Is it just a piece? It looks like uh, yeah, it's some some wheel. wheel. It looks yeah. like a human body. If you look from the top, like a head and the arms, a little bit turning that wheel. It's so interesting. 
Oder Moni ist das Paar. Let me show you. Uh, there is a. I love I love putting mirrors everywhere in the yeah. forest. There's <laughs> a think... mirror in the forest. This uh, is a true enchanted place. Let's see. I'm sorry. For uh, I ask uh, all my friends uh, who come from New York to if they see a mirror thrown outside uh, uh, to bring bring it to me. Why? I will find a good. Why are the for... mirrors so significant? Uh, since I was a kid, I always liked uh, to look if it's a big mirror, um, and it creates. I don't know how to how to explain it. It's uh, creates like a portal into a different reality. Mm -hmm, in a way. Uh, it's your own reality, but it's different, right? And you can't uh, get in there. It's uh, so it's like looking into a window into a different world but it's unreachable that everyone That's feels it right yeah. i can't say mm -hmm. anything uh, yes yeah uh, yeah let's look at that unusual one. but Reflection. i like to, to i like to place them in the forest in different spots um, yeah <laughs> I'm just amazed at all of the care yeah, that it takes to I'm do all of one. this. I That's mean, cool. every little corner you look into, there is something very magical there, placed with lots of care and love. You can just see that. Uh, for example, this mirror uh, has some historical significance uh, you know the famous Russian uh, music club down house mm -hmm. that's closed mm -hmm. uh, so for, I mean it's a historical and uh, place for Russian uh, Did it come musicians. From there? yeah so that's <laughs> at least I got one mirror from there uh, we spend <laughs> much time there of back course, in the of days course. yeah i played there myself many times mm -hmm. and uh, everyone played there yeah. it was like the best club so far so uh, in case if i didn't mention yet uh, anatoly is a very um, talented musician who has been writing his own music for many many years now and he has been performing with his concerts internationally uh, as well as right here and if we get lucky tonight maybe we'll get <laughs> to hear some of his music and maybe we'll get to witness some of the amazing talented painting by Roshania I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name Roshania yeah uh, she's visiting us and she's going back to her homeland in a few days to Bashkiria and um, her painting style is just really amazing you can see she really works with the spirit there so later on stay tuned maybe we'll catch some of that action yeah Rushania came here all the way from uh, Ufa mm -hmm. from uh, Bashkiria and she's an amazing artist and uh, 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 she had an idea to um, to create uh, paintings uh, and include some elements uh, from, from my lyrics into the paintings, which is like mind blowing because nobody ever did, <laughs> did this with my songs. <laughs> and uh, we were looking at them a little earlier. I know if you guys saw that there were their beautiful paintings on the porch there, and they were created at the same time as Anatoly was singing his songs. And some of the imagery there is just. Um, really deep you know um, and uh, a lot of his art and songs are about nature and water and the importance of uh, the resources and how to care for them, uh, why it's important for us to understand why we need to care for them and some of that uh, uh, was beautifully captured in those paintings you know all of those water spirits and the reflections and they're just um, they have a beautiful flow to them. So I'm really fortunate to be in here today and see all of that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to steal your show. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, <laughs> you 
have more, more to say <laughs> than, than myself. Mm -hmm. uh, well, okay, here is another mirror, and, and uh, this one came out really good. Ну, вот у нас тут и мостик есть тоже. А это, между прочим, след от медведя. След медвежьего кола. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure actually that it, the bear did this. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, <laughs> this uh, <laughs> remains of an old um, uh, closet, uh, oh, really? which was thrown out. So the two, two doors from a closet came in really handy. Mm -hmm. uh, Eventually, what I'm, it, it looks like a, from here, it looks like a revolving door, and that's the effect I was after. <laughs> it's the positioning is also very interesting. It's right across from the. Is that a sweat lodge or? No, that's a yurt. Yurt. Yeah. I have to put on the lights. I forgot to put on the lights inside. So yeah. this looks like a portal into a different dimension right here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's strange, if you come close uh, to the mirror, you can't see yourself. Mm -hmm. It's like you disappear. Oh, well, I want to try that. Я хочу пойти в следующий сьюти. Okay. We'll catch you soon, friends. Stay tuned. Bye.